Hey Virgo or Chinese year rooster. Beautiful, beautiful. Er, thank you guys so much for supporting the Vibe Tribe family community and being a part of it as well. Also, hope you guys are doing amazing and happy Friday. Either way, thank you, Spirit Universe God, so much for showing up and to Virgo and Chinese year rooster spirit team, deceased loved ones and ancestors, the ones that care about them the most, that is, for showing up. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what we have for spiritual messages today. As you have the King of Swords coming through, you guys are logical and authoritative. You guys have a sense of a sense of control or a, a, a strong arm. I don't know why I have a strong arm. Just came to my mind. Aquarius or Capricorn, a Chinese year tiger or an ox with the King of Swords, but very powerful energy of a masculine, right? It doesn't mean that you have to be a masculine and watch this. You could be a feminine Virgo. Say you just have a strong masculine um, energy about yourself, okay? You could be telepathic in a lot of ways, so you can communicate to animals, to nature. You can maybe even inflict something about the weather. I don't know where I just got that, but something about rain. Do the rain dance, do the rain dance, do, do your work. I don't know. Anyway, there's something to do with, like, you are, like, a warrior, though. Like, you may have sense of power, but the power isn't, like, a materialistic type of power or, like, a, um, even, you know what? Your power, that's an eternal power, that's what I'm trying to say. It actually gives you the power physically, materialistically, um, financially, emotionally, spiritually, sexually, um, and I know there's one more I'm missing, isn't there? Emotionally, mentally, sexually, materialistically, physically, spiritually. I guess that would be it. You get what I'm talking about, though. It's just like the internal power from your in, inward, inner, inward power from your soul giving your body, you know, the ignite to be alive. That's where you get a lot of your good luck when it comes to all the other aspects of your life. That's what I'm feeling with this King of Swords. It's not like a normal, like, in control, like, you hold down the whole fort of something in a sense of... Maybe a whole business in your judge or you're like a, a police chief or you're like a sheriff or you are something within the FBI or the CSI or you know what I mean? It's more of an actual maybe like if you were a spiritual being and you weren't alive right now, the feeling is that you would have authority spiritually. So you could be by God's side, you could be doing God's work, like that kind of thing. So basically you are here on earth in a body right now physically doing God's work. That's what the power is. You know what I'm saying? That's the feeling I'm getting. And I don't think I've ever felt like that kind of feeling before ever. And that was kind of, I mean, I like to explain things, so don't get me wrong. It, it was not, it was a complex explanation, let me say, but it's okay because it gives me more of the ability to use my brain as most of us only use like about 6% of our brain a day. Um, and <laughs> There's so much more brain power. So I do feel like you guys are one of the people that do utilize your brain power. And you probably use at least 45 or more percent of your brain because you are always constantly thinking of all the perspectives, not just the closed minded perspectives, the inside of a box perspectives. You're looking at every single possibility as a perspective, you know. And I feel like that's actually where that logic comes from because people that are thinking from a closed minded space or a uh, box, you know, they aren't obviously in that sense of open minded, you know, they're, they're, they're limiting themselves to just that. Um, and you don't like to limit yourself. You like to make sure that you are reaching every possibility to make sure it actually brings you a sense of understanding because your cognition is only going to be able to understand specifics and maybe all out of all the things that other people specifically understand with their cognition there's a deeper meaning for you you're always looking for it that's the feeling i'm getting with the king of swords okay i am gonna get an osho zen with the situation a little bit you may not be a friendly person sometimes okay you may only have a certain amount of friends i just saw 444 and those certain friends that you have you're definitely in union you're definitely in a sense of like celebration with them. You're linked. 
Um, that's the feeling, okay? And you are heavily protected from people that are going to try to come and try to manipulate you, uh, try to wrong you, also trying to waste your time because God knows for a fact you cannot be wasting your time. You have a specific set duty and that's what you're doing. And that that's it. You're not supposed to be, you know, friends with everyone. You're not supposed to. <laughs> You know, and I feel like I was friends with everybody for so long, you know, and I really do have a heart like like gold and I literally just care about everybody, you know, if I could leave a piece of gold with everybody, I would. You see what I'm saying? But I know for a fact God keeps me away from a lot of people. A lot of people don't come around. They don't come to my house. I feel like the energy of my house is so protected that nobody comes because everybody has something they have. They're hiding. Everybody has something that they are, you know, going to use you for some. There's always a trick up somebody's sleeve. There's always something. There's always something. And so God knows to protect me from people, even though I love them. I will always love them, even for them, for being who they are. Okay. It doesn't, and I, I pray for them. You know, I pray that they all end up figuring it out. One day they will. It will all make sense then one day. They may see that. They may think I'm crazy. They may think this. They may think that whatever they want to think that's on them. That's the judgment that God's going to make on them when they, they come to that day. I don't have any play in that. All the things that they think of me or anybody else for that matter is a reflection of themselves. So of course I feel bad for them, you know, and I pray for them, but from a distance, they don't come around. Nobody comes around really. I like have only specific people I see. So I totally understand where you're coming from in this sense. You're like, I don't like to be friendly with everyone and you don't have to, you shouldn't have to really, you know, there are people out there that are not good people. I mean, really out of all the people, I'm pretty sure like 25% of the world is good people. I don't know if you guys agree. Maybe you guys see it differently. But that's okay because you can see it differently all you want to. Like that's what I love about people and the fact that they do have the ability to see things in their own way. Now, that doesn't mean that I like when people are in a group of people and they only limit themselves to what that group thinks. No, that's a little, a little frustrating to see that. But, you know, their potential's there. They'll eventually either see it themselves, figure it out on them, their own, whatever lessons they have to go through, they'll, they'll go through it. God put me through my lessons. I'm pretty sure he's going to put everybody else through theirs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, number two with that inning, number six of sword. Yeah, you're getting away from something. You guys could definitely be Virgo Tigers, you know. Um, because the Aquarius energy is very strong. You could be Aquarius moons too, Aquarius north nodes, whatever it is, it's pulling you in the direction of being very, you know, eccentric, um, and different And Aquarius energy is always thinking differently than most. Okay. Even a Pisces doesn't think like an Aquarius and they're right next to each other. The last two Zodiac signs, and they're supposed to be the most enhanced and intel intelligent, uh, Zodiac signs. Now that doesn't mean that not everybody has, those zodiac signs because mostly everybody has every zodiac sign in their chart so wherever you have aquarius in your chart it's definitely pulling you in the right direction it's trying to get you to be with the people that you know for a fact are also eccentric or have the potential to be eccentric um and that you would love to give examples to and help to help them so that they can also help those in their environment. Now you could be friends with someone, but you're not friends with the people that that friend is friends with. You're like, yeah, but if you're with, um, so-and-so, I'm not going to come hang out with you. But if you aren't hanging out with them, sure. I'll come on over. Or yeah, sure. I'll go out with you to the movies, but make sure so-and-so isn't there, you know? Cause you're just like, yeah, no, my energy is not to be played with, not to be distracted with, not to be, uh, manipulated, you know? And uh, I do feel like God also protects those people from you too, because when people get on your bad side, it's not really a good look for them on their side. Um, so either way, you're just trying to get away from the, con the, the storm and you're just moving, moving smoothly, <laughs> you know, away is what I, I feel. You could be lethargic when people come around you and they're all like that, you know, queen of swords is here. Look at this. So the fact being, <laughs> this is a Virgo's energy and Libra, but Virgo, there you are. You're, you are sitting on the opposite side of this video right now, whether you're a male or a female and your personality between feminine and masculine is made up of both the swords, queen and king. So therefore... This tells me that you're an open, honest, intellectual individual. You're communicative, you're fun. 
but you're very serious too. You have a serious mind. And you only say truth. And you come across very blunt and cutthroat. That's another reason that a lot of people do not come around why you're not a very friendly individual with a lot of people because you say things that people really cannot handle. The only reason people are around you is because they can actually handle what you say. And that's actually something that actually gives you more credit and more confidence because you know for a fact you're actually understood by the right people. You know, and I just thought of this thing today. I was like, this is actually the perfect post to post on threads. And I did because I never thought of it this way. But you know what? So that means the right people will always come. The wrong people will always go. The wrong people that need to go were once upon a time right people that needed to enter into your life for the purpose they needed to serve. Then they become wrong for you. And then they need to go. And that's just the way it is. And that's how we grow. You know, there's something specific with that here in that, that in this case, you guys are very honest individuals. You don't want anything in your life that will disrupt your true loyalty and determination and devotion to your purpose. Okay. Any slight energy of deceivance, which would be like deceiving individuals or people with a trick up their sleeve. They don't have the right or the you know, like the permit or the access to you. Yeah, there's king of coins in the reversal. Two of coins. You're too busy for a lot of these people. Keep being busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. These people would love to cause nightmares in your life. They'd love to cause you to have problems and strife. So they would like to make it so hard on you to think, uh, that you're not doing good, to think that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, to, uh, you know, really project what they know for a fact that they're not doing for themselves. So, you know, they would love to tell somebody else how to live life when they don't even tell themselves how to live their own life. They won't even take their own advice. So technically, therefore, they're they're in their own little, you know, box, right? And they would love to keep you in a box. They'd love to make you put, put you, and there's no way Aquarius can ever be put into a box. I'm sorry. That's not the case here. Um, so you've got Taurus, Aries, Capricorn, and Gemini. All the air signs are here. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini's energy. Okay, so air sign is heavy, and air signs are definitely intellectual and smart. They're they're inquisitive in a lot of ways. They are very able to solve problems. They're able to read people very, very clear. Um, I feel like air signs have a better uh, ability to read someone's true intentions and even a water sign water signs get emotions from people and uh, that emotion isn't the set of a mindset a mindset is more of the intentions what somebody could do that's evil um, now emotions on the other hand can get in the way of that feeling of what an intention of the mind can do the brain is a very powerful thing if you feed the brain negativity and bad things bad things are going to happen with that brain in the way that it's going to make action um, if there's more of a positive situation to the brain, the brain is going to be stimulated in the way that it needs to be stimulated. So it's not going to be agitated or aggravated. So therefore, it will have an easier way of finding the way to clear the mind, to think positively, to, you know, overcome some of these obstacles instead of pitying, instead of uh, self-sabotaging, instead of all the things that become negative and then blaming and, um, you know, not taking accountability and such. So I do feel like there's a sense of air signs kind of having a better way. So if you have like a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Moon, North Node, something like that, you could be Virgo horses, Virgo tigers, like we were talking about, or Virgo dogs even. Um, but there's just something here that you guys are very profound. Ace of Pentacles is even on the bottom. There's just a new beginning. And the universe wants you to just focus on that new beginning that's coming. Don't allow these negative energies that will try to get you to not finish what you've started here okay they will try to distract you and they will try to um take from you too nonetheless all right these people are greedy these people are um angry that other people are going to do better than them are already angry angry people are doing better than them um jealous that people have things that they don't have or even just mad at, at certain people for having certain things at certain ages because maybe they're past a certain age and they're, they don't have those things and they don't understand how somebody younger than them can have something like that. And nobody wants to be happy in the situation that I'm seeing with this King of Coins in the reversal. And you know what? You're, you, you are you only flourish in happiness. You only flourish when people are actually growing and actually trying to get along. And there's a delightful mode. That's why a lot of these people are not your friends. 
that's what I have right there. Okay, I'm gonna get a telepathy because of the all the air energy, but the queen and the king. Telepathy oracle card here for the Virgos. Boundaries, having sensible boundaries is very, very important. And that's exactly what this is about. I love that for you. And there's honor too. Treat the people you love with respect and you'll find your relationships become stronger. Just keep honoring the ones that are part of your life that you are friends with, that you are cherishing, that you are able to help and um, benefit that also benefit you too, right? Reciprocated. The answer is no to something. I regret making that decision. Six months, it will be here before you know it and sadness has taken over someone. So whoever it is regretting that decision, their sadness has taken over. And uh, I don't know what the answer is no to. It could be that this person trying to mess with your plan and your purpose. And it like brings me to that one message I wrote down in one of my um, decks that I created. It's actually one of my, of my daughter. But it says that <clears throat> your emotions are meant to be felt for whatever it is you're going through. Like if you're feeling happy or sad or angry, you're allowed to feel that. But another person trying to inflict their emotions on a, a situation of your own emotion of what you feel in the moment, um, you're not allowed to, you're not supposed to be carrying the weight of those other people's emotions. Okay. They could have their emotions of their day. They're just going to change all day, every day, all the time. Yours changes. Everybody else's changes, but you're not responsible for someone else's emotions and the way that they feel about something. You're responsible for how you feel about it. And if you're meant to be celebrating a moment, be happy anyway. Somebody not happy for you. Somebody's miserable because you just found out you hit the lottery and somebody's just so over. I just I just broke up with my 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 ex and la la la. I'm just gonna make it all about me. Well, you can go make it all about you over there. I'm having fun. Don't ruin. Don't like. Don't kill my vibe. You know. Don't do it. B I T C H, don't kill my vibe. <laughs> you know, like it's a vibe here. Go over there where it's not vibing, I guess. Low vibrational, like area, like where they have like the smoking section. They're like low vibrational section over here. <laughs> High vibration over here, you know, because that's literally the feeling. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys. You guys are immaculate, Virgo, and I'll see you guys again soon.